What's up everyone? Welcome. Coming at you with a quick shoe haul. We've got Bottega, Christian Louboutin, and a pair of Tom Fords. I will be discussing each one individually, sharing my thoughts, and providing some pros and cons. I will do a split screen so you guys can see how they look on me. So let's get right into it. So in this haul, I have from casual to super fancy, so I figured I'd start off with the most stunning shoes. Guys, these are some Cinderella heels. The sparkle on these shoes is just amazing. The toe box is adorned with all these beautiful crystals. I'm hoping the camera is doing these justice. Every movement you make, they sparkle. The back also is just as sparkly, and it actually has the Christian Louboutin logo. I'm not sure if you could see that all around the back. I've seen different types of these shoes. I've seen multicolored crystals. I've seen gold crystals. I did have to go a half a size up on these. These are a 37. Normally I'm a six and a half, but I just wanted that extra space in the toe box area because we all know Christian Louboutin toe boxes are very tight. And if you do have a wide foot, you might have to go a size up, but I had to try these shoes on before I even purchased them because I didn't want to get the incorrect size. And I found that 37 was the most comfortable, but your toes are definitely going to feel a little bit tight in here. So I will say that is a con of the shoe. I was worried that the PVC was going to dig into my skin, but I haven't had that issue yet, thankfully. But that is something to possibly worry about if you maybe have a wider foot. At first I thought that, oh, I can only wear these on a special occasion, which I was fine with. But then I tried them on with a pair of jeans and I was surprised that it looked fine. They actually went well together. So I'm glad that I can not only use them for a special occasion, but I can put on a blouse and a pair of jeans. And these will just liven up your outfit. Now, if you're wearing a sexy dress and these heels, oof, a chef's kiss. I went with the 85 millimeter. They do have these in 100 millimeter, but because I know the toe box can be a little uncomfortable with this particular brand, I just wanted a lower heel. And I'm really glad I went with this heel size. It still gives you height, shows off your sexy legs. I haven't bought a pair of Christian Louboutins in forever, but I thought these were fabulous and a must in my shoe collection. I'm also really liking PVC heels. I'm not sure what it is, but if they're no longer in style, I don't care. I just really like this almost barely there shoe. It just looks sexy to me. By the way, for those interested, I purchased the Christian Louboutins online from Harrods. They had a bit of a sale going on during Christmas time last year. Those retail over $1,000, so yeah, not cheap. Okay, up next are the beautiful Tom Ford Lock Stiletto Heels. I think these shoes are so sexy, probably because the toe box is pointed and just makes your feet look sexy. I went with a nude color so they can just match with everything. I believe these are called Flesh. And here is the Lock and key a little bit of a weight to the lock and unfortunately for us skinny ankle girls this actually kind of weighs it down if you have a slim ankle you're gonna have to make another hole i thought these were so sexy that i'm like i'm just gonna keep them and i'm just gonna have to make a hole you'll see on the split screen how they kind of like hang off my ankle but it's okay i'll make it work somehow the heel size on this is 105 millimeters a little bit over four inches I did go with my size six and a half, but now I'm thinking that maybe I should size at least a half size up. I'm not sure. I have to like look how I look in the video and see if these look too small for me. Some sizing guides say true to size. Some say go a size up, but this shoe style is very classic. These never go out of style. You can dress them up, dress them down and they look great either way. These shoes will look great with my new YSL Toy Lulu bag, which I actually did a review on. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'll link that down below. These shoes are definitely not comfortable. I'm just gonna be real with it. Anybody who says that these are comfortable, you must have some extra padding in your feet or you're a super pro at really high heels, but there is nothing comfortable about these shoes. They're just beautiful. As the saying goes, beauty is pain, and this is definitely in that category. I will say for this particular shoe, this strap, it's pretty tight. I have a reasonably slim foot, and if this is tight on me, then for sure somebody with a wider foot 
you're going to feel it. And that's probably why you would need to size up. Again, another shoe that you would need to try on in store. Now, as I mentioned, this is a very versatile shoe. I will be wearing them with jeans, skirts, dresses, leggings. And I feel they would just elevate, add some sexiness to your casual outfit and make you look bomb if you're wearing like a beautiful dress. Some pricing info. These shoes are expensive. They retail $1,290 US plus tax, you're almost spending like 1400 with these shoes. I was lucky enough to find a discount in net a -Porter. If you're interested in the shoe, they do go on sale. And lastly, I purchased these Bottega Veneta Mule stretch sandals. That's a lot of words in the color blue. I wanted a casual shoe that I can use with jeans mainly. And that's the reason why I got this color. I just feel like if I'm wearing blue jeans, I can wear blue shoes. I find that Bottega Veneta does colors really well, whether it's shoes or bags. And I was just really drawn to this blue color. Now I know this particular shoe is not everybody's taste because of this square toe. I'm not going to lie. When I do look at these, I think of like a platypus bill. Actually their bill might be a little bit more rounder than these, but yeah, I get that platypus feel when I see these. So I get why these are not the most liked type of shoe but I tend to like weird things anyways. And listen, for the price that I got them, I was not going to walk away. Where's the price tag? So these retail for $9.50. They went down to $4.75 and I bought them off of Neiman Marcus for $2.37. So yeah, I was very happy with the price. I went with my normal size, 36 and a half. I do have another pair of Bottega sandals and I am a 36 and a half for sure in this brand. I like that they add these little pads under the heel. It's really great when you're like on floors that may be a little bit more slippery. Also the heel size on this is slightly lower than four inches. It might be a little bit over three and a half, but since I was looking for a casual comfortable shoe, I bet I think this is the best size for that. Lately I've been into mules. I used to wear mules a lot back, back in the day. And then I just stopped wearing those types of shoes completely. But now that they have been kind of trending for a minute now, I've been on the mule bandwagon and honestly, they're just so easy to slip on, slip off. If your feet hurt, if you're sitting down, you can just take them off, wiggle your toes for a bit and put them right back on. Just an easy shoe all around. I will say that this section here is tight around your foot. But I think with time, this will definitely stretch out. So I'm not really worried about it right now. But yeah, I really like my funny looking blue Bottegas for $237. Not bad. So that is my luxury shoe haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I have nothing else to say except please thumbs it up, subscribe for those good vibes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.